Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at and reflecting on some of the Psalms from the Bible, which were written as songs and can still be sung, but can also still be used as prayers. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 22 in the Dewey Rheims Bible, but Psalm 23 in the RSV. A Psalm for David. Self-explanatory. The Lord ruleth me, and I shall want for nothing. Ruleth me is translated from a phrase comparing God to a shepherd, and the implication is that he feeds, guides, and governs the psalmist. Shall want nothing implies that God will provide everything that's needed, so he doesn't suffer under deprivations any more. He hath set me in a place of pasture. He hath brought me up on the water of refreshment. He hath converted my soul. He hath led me on the paths of justice for his own name's sake. All of these phrases symbolize being led into health, prosperity, and well-being. And at the end, he also says that God gives justice as well. He does all these things so that people will respect and revere him more, and follow him more often. For though I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evils. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they have comforted me. Evil is scary, but we don't need to be afraid as long as we have the guidance of God to protect us from making grave mistakes. The rod and staff refer to a shepherd's crook, which was used to gently guide wayward sheep back into the herd when they started to head off in some other direction. This symbolism is often used to represent sinners who turn against the will of God and how God seeks to guide them back to righteousness. Thou hast prepared a table before me against them that afflict me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and my chalice, which inebriateth me. How goodly is it! People who follow God can expect greater rewards, the food and drink, and honors, the anointing, from God than those who cause trouble for them. And thy mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and that I may dwell in the house of the Lord unto length of days. In other words, for a very, very long time. It's the mercy of God that enables us to receive the gifts of heaven. This is a psalm of pure praise and worship, and one of the highest in the Bible, only rarely even mentioning other people at all. The focus is strongly on God and his many wonderful gifts and promises to those who obey him, as well as how good it is for him to offer his guidance to people. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.